Hey ladies and welcome to my Kim Kardashian inspired makeup tutorial. Basically this is the look. And in a nutshell what it is is a really really black smoky eye, nude pink lips, and pink eyeshadow and really bronzed up cheeks. Basically just think Kim Kardashian and this is what inspired me. So I'm going to do a step by step for you and if you're curious to know how I did it, stay tuned. Okay, so first of all, you're going to have to prime your lids. I'm using NYC Union Square Palette Primer. You might notice that I have a lot of powder under my eyes, and that's just to catch the fallout that's going to happen from the eyeshadow. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put on my eyeshadow. I'm using Clinique Eyeshadow in Black Velvet. You'll be putting this eyeshadow all over your eyelid and just below your brow bone. If your application isn't perfect, don't worry about it because you're going to do a lot of blending that's going to really soften that line. So you're going to grab your eyeshadow brush and do a windshield wiper motion all around that black line to really soften it up. So moving on, it's important that you use a separate brush for this part so you don't get any black under your eyebrow. You're going to put um, a matte eyeshadow that's a really light color. I'm using Daylight Matte by Lancome. And you're going to place it directly underneath your brow onto your brow bone and towards the inner portion of your eyebrow. Make sure you do right by your tear ducts as well. I want to apologize for my crappy audio. Like, I had to voice it over and I didn't know it would sound this bad, so I'm really sorry. Next time I'll change it, I promise. Okay, so now I'm using a separate blending brush and I'm doing it really gently. I'm just swishing it along that line to soften it up a little bit. I'm going to use another eyeshadow later, but I just want to make sure it's blended and get it out of the way for now. So I'm using a color called Naked Lunch and it's by MAC. It's a champagne shimmer color, so if you have anything similar, you can just use that. And what I'm going to do is get my brush. It's the same brush I used to apply the Daylight Matte eyeshadow on my brow bone. And I'm going to cover the very outermost edge of the black eyeshadow with this. Um, and you also shouldn't worry too much about the follow that you're getting because we're going to clean that up later. The key to any smoky eye is blending, so I'm going to grab that brush that I used for the black eyeshadow and blend it in a little bit more. You can add some more black if you want, it's all up to you. But I'm just going to blend it in a little more, and if you've been following me so far, this is what you should look like. Right now I'm using a Silver Loose Shadow by Pop Beauty. It's really similar to the MAC pigment. And you're going to use that same brush you used for your black eyeshadow and put it all over your lid. So after you finish with the silver pigment, you're going to put some black eyeshadow over that. You don't want to completely cover it. We just want a little bit of shimmer to poke through, a little bit of sexiness. So don't cover it too, too much. Okay, my sexy ladies. The next step is to get an angled brush, dip it in that black shadow, and go on your lash line. Don't go too far in. All you want to go is one half to three quarters in and then stop. Your makeup should be looking pretty similar to this by now. It's time for eyeliner. I'm using Revlon Colorstay in black. You want to line your lower waterline, go thicker on the outer corner and thinner on the inner corner. And then you want to do your lid. Um, it's the same thing, go thicker on the outer corner and thinner on the inner corner. Oh my god, I almost messed up saying that like five times. <laughs> I don't know why that was such a mouthful for me. To coat my lashes, I'm using Clinique High Lash in black. You can use your favorite mascara for this, you know, it doesn't really, really matter. My only advice here would be to jiggle your mascara wand at the root of your eyelash because if you get too much product at the top of your lashes, they will get laid da weighed down. I wiped off all my fallout off camera. Right now, I'm dabbing Makeup Forever Lifting Concealer under my eyes with a sponge. It's important to really press it in. So using your favorite pink blush, just put it on the apples of your cheeks and blend it in. I'm using NYC Cream Stick Blush in Plaza Pink. Make sure not to blend it downwards, though. Blend it out towards your hairline. Now I'm going to take my angled brush by e.l.f., dip it into my Glow Fusion Bronzer in Golden, and apply it to the hollows of my cheeks the sides of my head and a little bit on my forehead to give me that bronze glow. Also going to put a little bit on my nose to contour it. Okay, so time for my favorite stuff. I'm using Gel Bronze by Bond Bell in a color called Luminous Glow. What it is basically is a highlighter and it's in a shimmery bronze color. I'm going to put that on the bridge of my nose and the apples on my cheeks 
Okay girls, we're almost done. What I'm doing next is I'm getting a brown lip liner. I'm using Bond Bell in Toast and I'm going to line my lips and fill them in a little bit. Then I'm going to get Rimmel's Airy Fairy Lipstick and fill my lips in. Airy Fairy is kind of a frosty pink nude color, so if you have any color similar to that, you can use those as well. Now for the finishing touches, I'm going to curl my lashes. I'm just using a standard eyelash curler by Revlon, and I'm just going to hold it for about 3 seconds, let go, and that is the final step. Hello, Kim Kardashian. So if you've been following all the steps, we should look like identical twins right now. <laughs> Um, our makeup should both be really black, faded, smoky eye, and nude pink lips with some nice bronze cheeks. I just hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.